Thursday, June 13, 2024, and I hope your Thursday is off to a good start because yesterday was so heartbreaking. I mean, the Mavs, I'm about to go on a rant, so bear with me, my friends. This is the free three. I've got a few baseball best bets for you, but I've got to talk about this Mavs. What's up, guys? It's your boy, No Believing, back with another DYF Bets video where I'm breaking down my favorite picks and plays of the day as we're just trying to get to the bat together. We're trying to, try to get that money. Now, yesterday, I thought we had the Mavs, man, and I thought we had it right. We, 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 oh my goodness, that was just such a frustrating game to watch. From the referees to Luka Doncic complaining to the referees. I mean, give the Celtics credit. They are the best in the league. They're a veteran team. That's why they got the piece like Drew Holiday here, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown. I mean, they're playing amazing. Phenomenal basketball, Derek White, the whole squad. But Luka, man, I mean, Kyrie did a Kyrie performance. He did the best that he could do. You can't foul with four minutes left to go in the game. And... The, some of the fouls you picked up are boneheaded, and you cry so much. You don't play defense, and it costs you team games. It costs them possessions. And, I mean, I hope you learn from this lesson for the next time that you guys get the opportunity to make maybe to come back to the finals. But, I mean, we know how it works in the league. Like, you don't get many of these opportunities, and you get shots, you got to take them. And you spend more time arguing, crying, than taking the right shots. And that's what led to our demise yesterday. We had the match in the first half. As much as 12, they were leading in the first half. We took minus one and a half. They win the first half by one. P.J. Washington misses two free throws with three seconds left. But in all honesty, the game should have been that close in the first half. We took Celtics team total under 105 and a half. They ends at 106. I mean, why? Why? I mean, the third quarter, that's crazy to allow that to happen. They had 50 points at halftime, right? So those were two heartbreaking losses and then Luka not grabbing his rebounds, Tatum not grabbing their rebounds. And I mean, it's just Luka, it's just frustrating. So 0-4 did yesterday. Try to switch it up today. I put a suit on. I need to get good vibes in here. That's back-to-back -back losing days, back-to-back -back fades. And I'm just like, bro, I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm mad at it. And we're going to bounce back. But I mean, that was just frustrating to watch as just a fan. Wanted to see a good competitive series. I mean, I'm going to be honest. This NBA playoffs have sucked. Have you guys enjoyed it? Like, let me know. Because, I mean, it's like we've had one game seven. We've had, but that was a what? Pick Knicks and Pacers, and that was riddled by injuries. Every series was like four or five games. If it went six games, it was because the team was up 3 1. Like we knew what was going to happen. It, it, it wasn't really a back and forth playoffs, but, you know, maybe we get five games out of this one. We'll see. Uh, but, you know, shout out to the Sharps yesterday, the people who had the Celtics. I, was a, I wasn't a believer, and I liked my reads on the game, but it's all good. Neither here nor there. We bounce back today. Let's tap to these baseball best bets. As always, appreciate the love and support. Smash that subscribe button, that like button. Let's dive into these winners. All right, let's go to the slate real quick. First best bet of the day, let's do Nerfy. Let's go with the Nerfy real quick. Let's get this out of the way. The Nerfy of the day, Phillies and the Red Sox. Nerfy between Aaron Nola, Tanner Hawk, minus 125 odds. I really like this Nerfy today. Uh, I think I lean towards the overall under this match. It looks like an eight and a half. Both of these pitchers have been really good. Aaron Nola's stats on the road. I mean, he has like a sub one ERA on the road. Tanner Hawk has been dialed of late. Best pitch on the Red Sox stat by far. And when you look at their Nerfie numbers this year, Aaron Nola is 10 and 3 to the Nerfie, but hitting his last two in a row. Tanner Hawk is 11 and 2 to the Nerfie, hitting his last one in a row. So you love to see that both of these guys are hitting more times than not. Both of these offenses are a little bit stronger in the first inning. A little ball for them are under 70% Nerfie success rate. That's a little bit lower than I'd like to take. But I do lean towards the under here. Red Sox scored a ton of runs yesterday. So maybe they're down bound for a little bit of regression. I think these two pitchers come out dialed. Give me the Nerfy between the Red Sox and the Phillies as the first pick of the day. Moving on to our second best bet. Let's go with the player prop. Let's go with Mr. Garrett Crochet. Croquette, however you say his name. Over 17 and a half pitching out. Minus 105 odds on DraftKings. I love the value that we're getting on this. And if you've been watching Garrett, I mean, he's one of the best pitchers on the White Sox staff. He really is the best pitcher. I don't think they're going to trade him just because of how young he is. But I would not be surprised if the White Sox continue to suck over the next two, three years. It's going to be kind of like Luis Castillo, who's actually the guy he's facing this year. And, you know, how the Reds offloaded him to Seattle. I think we're going to see something similar, right? Last five starts for Crochet. Boston, six innings. Milwaukee, six innings. Baltimore, six innings. Toronto, six innings. You get the point. Over those four starts, he's giving up a combined four earned runs. I mean, you can't. Come on now. Like, that's stellar with one home run given up over those four games and a combined 32 strikeouts. 
Dude's absolutely dialed. Best pitch on the team. I love the fact that we're getting it under 17 and a half. So this way we can get that six innings. And then, like I mentioned, he's facing Luis Castillo, another ace for the Mariners. Somebody like you really never know what type of performance you're going to get out of Castillo. He could be super dialed, which is going to help Rochette. Or he could be really bad and give him a few mistake pitch home runs, which gives the White Sox some insurance and now allows Rochette to go a little bit longer in the game as well. So I like both angles. I think it allows him to go to six innings as long as he can keep his pitch count low, which I think he should be able to do because he's a strikeout pitcher. Mariners are one of the bottom five teams in the NL be in terms of strikeouts per game. Crochet should be able to go 17 and a half outs at six innings here. Give us that as our second pick of the day. Third and final best bet of the day is going to be a money line parlay for you guys. Two teams that should be able to get it done on this Thursday card. We're going to go with the New York Mets on the money line parlay that with the Twins on the money line. Those two together get you plus 110 odds. Now the Mets are big favorites as they are home today against the Miami Marlins. And that's truthfully the first time this year that the Mets have been favorites by more than 200 on the money line. So, I mean, they're pretty juiced there. And I mean, I'm not always a fan of laying that, but that's why we got to do a money line parlay here. You could do the run line, but let's just go with the money line. Luis Severino's on the mound here for the Mets. Pretty solid pitcher for them. He's probably been the best pitcher and most consistent pitcher in their rotation. 4-2 and two on the year, 3.25 ERA. His last start, 8 innings, 7 hits, 1 earned run given up against the Nationals. You love to see that. That's what you can give you at times. We saw that earlier, two starts to go against the Giants, where he went 7 innings and only 1 run given up. But there are times where he does give up runs. I'm not really concerned about that because this Marlins offense is not really that good if we're being all that honest and even if you look at their record against the number they're three and seven against the spread and on the money line over their last 10 games they're only averaging about three runs per game right 5.46 team era that's not going to get it done and then when you look at the fact that they're sending Rodri Munez to the mound who has a 5.94 era coming up back-to-back starts where he's given up a combined 10 earned runs over eight innings that's not really what I'm looking for this Mets team their offense has been dialed lately been absolutely crushing right-handed pitching i expect them to be dialed today at home pick up the w speaking about strong offenses that's what the minnesota twins have been doing you see yesterday game they put up like 19 runs i mean that's crazy and now they send their ace to the mound mr joe ryan to take on the a's in this matchup i really like the twins to be able to pick up the win on the money line i mean their bats have been absolutely on fire right over the last four games averaging 9.25 runs per game and like i mentioned they laid 17 on what yesterday on these a's so that there's no reason why they should not be able to continue to score runs today. Joe Ryan is a guy who can give you inconsistency at times, but he's been the ace of the team this year. 3.03 EOA, a 0.97 whip. You love to see that. And then Oakland's also been struggling against right-handed pitching over the last about two, three weeks or so. They're in the bottom of the league in terms of WOBA, WRC+. It's not going to get it done, right? And this is a Twins team where you're going to have to score runs. The Royce Lewis insertion back into the lineup. He's come back from injury, has completely sparked plugged them. They were starting to get stagnant a little bit there, but his home run balls really kept that catalyst and is what has led them to this offensive resurgence. The Twins offense is too hot for me to fade right now. And when you keep in mind that the A's are sending Luis Mandina to the mound with a 5.23 ERA, doesn't really be that encouraging and that he got banged up pretty hard by a Toronto team that's not even swinging the bat that good against Miami gave up six runs to them. So for me, this is just too much offense on the twin side and the Mets side. Combine those two for money line parlay is our final pick of the day. But that's it for me today, my friends. Hopefully a bounce back Thursday is in the cards for us because we need it like air. I mean, come on now. These full fades, I'm tired of these just like Really, really good days, really bad days. That roller coaster is just really annoying for the bagel. So hopefully we can get a little bit more consistent, a little bit more steady. So for today, we're going to go with Garrett Crochet over 17 and a half pitching outs. So we're going to go with the Nerfie and the Phillies in the Red Sox game and a money line parlay between the Mets and the Twins. I appreciate all the love and support on the channel. As always, it is your boy, Noble Lidu. Let's get to that money. And I'll see you on tomorrow's video. Follow me on all socials and we'll continue to cash on those bets together. Later, gang.